Hey guys and gals, this is Psionic Arrow with the IS-3 once again. Uh, it's been a little bit more of a grind now that I have a bunch of tier 7, tier 8 tanks, so you're going to be seeing more of the same tanks going on. A uh, little new thing is the mini-map. It's the XVM mod, which is also letting me know what the tank names are and uh, their last known position if it's the enemy. Alright, so I'm going to be heading into the town, which is where an IS-3 works best, I think. A lot of flanking can be done in the town, and, uh, you know, there's buildings to hide behind, which is also a good thing. Okay, so here's my customary position, or starting position, on the Siegfried line. I always come over here to check if anybody wants to rush on through, any scouts going for artillery, or uh, any heavy tanks that are just coming out and being, you know, a little bit weird and going for the cap right away. But you never know. It, it happens sometimes. Uh, this position also prevents any flanking being done on any of the guys on the extreme east side on the zero line. Uh, so they spotted a T-32, which is behind the buildings, of course. Uh, oh, there's a couple of tanks over there. KV-5. So if you took a look at the uh, screen over there, oh, hang on a minute. A uh, lucky shot on the KV-5. I got him pretty good there. But if you take a look here, we've got the two KV-5s which are from a clan, and that means that they're usually going to be working or coordinating properly with each other. And those are the biggest threats. Uh, so I've got all my clan made as well. He just got set on fire and he's retreated a bit. So I'm going to move over and help him out. Now obviously if I wasn't in a platoon, and I wasn't talking to anybody, then I might not have come over here and helped out this line. In fact, I might not even have seen that he was hit. But he notified me, and that's a good thing. So here I'm taking up a slightly uh, poor position. I managed to track the KV-5 and do no damage at all. But he's on 6 health, oh he's retreating, so I can't get him. There's the other KV-5, and uh, he just reversed, and that means I shot into his turret, which is extremely well armored. Okay, so it doesn't look like that. It doesn't look like they'll be popping out too much again. Uh, so I'm going to move over to behind the T-34 because I want to get rid of this T-Type 59. I uh, didn't manage to work there and I got both my tracks damaged which, which was uh, kind of lucky. Let's see, uh, yeah, the back end of the KV-5s are showing. Okay, so there's an SU-152, and I managed to... Well, he, the SU-152 managed to uh, miss. And I managed to get around in time to take a shot on him. Alright, so he's leaving. And I'm gonna try a little side scraping with the IS-3, but it's not ideal positions. And uh, luckily enough, the Type 59 backed into my shot, where I would have just missed completely. Uh, side armor of an IS-3, there's a little bit of uh, spaced armor on the side of an IS-3. And that's where the Type 59 hit me the first time. The two mate is calling for help, uh, but I think he's okay at... Whoa! Two artillery shots just came in around me. Mm. 
Yeah, the KV-5, he's trying to goad me into firing a shot. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. Oh, Ferdinand. Uh, can I get another shot? No. Managed to miss right there. <coughs> uh, T-20 comes around. He's going to try and flank the T-24. I'm not going to let him do that. Uh, or I'm trying not to. I'm pushing him to see if I can't throw his aim off. Didn't manage to happen, and I lost the track. So, repair crew is a pretty nice thing to have. It took six seconds, about six seconds, to return my tracks, and I didn't have to waste any uh, repair kits. <coughs> Anything there? No, he knows. KV5 knows. Alright, so here I'm taking a huge gamble, and I was hoping I could kill this KV5 in one shot, but not so much and uh, he reloads faster than I do and I come around the corner again and he's gonna get a nice shot in again like that but that's it that is the end this KV-5 is also gonna get a good shot in on me because I'm again showing my sights he manages to track me as well and I take a nice shot into his uh, Machine gun tur turret. <coughs> so they've got two tanks, which are here, and two artillery. So I'm gonna have to keep on moving. Uh, super pushing. I'm not gonna try and shoot for the front. There we go. Side shot. And a Type 62. <coughs> Oh, and the artillery just got my platoon mate, and that leads me to believe that the AMX is actually in the field somewhere. And the grill, I don't know where he is. Alright, so I'm going to be staying inside the cap circle just to force him to come to me. I'm not going to go searching for artillery. Let's just keep on moving. Don't let them have an easy shot on you. And just in case they're you know, flanking me, they're obviously going to be moving together if they're smart. And uh, I'm just going to keep on pointing my turret in every direction and make sh making sure that I can't, uh, I can get a quick shot in before they can shoot me. If they manage to hit my engine deck or something, I could burn to death really quickly. That's never a good thing. So I'm just going to go check over here. <coughs> Doesn't look like they're coming yet. The French artillery are pretty fast, and the grill is not... It's not a slow artillery either. It moves pretty well, but it takes a long time to aim. <clears throat> Alright, there's the AMX. I'm going to get into a better position and then I'm going to charge out of the cap circle. Obviously, he's spotting for me. Uh, oh. He didn't hide enough. So there we go. There's the grill. Aha, he hit the building. Alright. <coughs> so now I can just go and uh, chase him down. be uh, heading in this direction so that if he manages to reload in time I'm not going to get shot in the face. Uh, where'd he go? 
There he is. He's actually running away from me. And that's the end. Alright, let's take a look at the results. 1,413 points of experience with a Reaper, Master Gunner, Top Gun, and Sniper. Uh, 7 kills, down to 42% health. Uh, last tank alive, in fact. Uh, 17 shots fired, 16 of them hit, 14 penetrated. I did over 4,000 points of damage. 9 hits received. Uh, let's see, credits, 31,917 credits on a premium account, 13,000 on a non-premium account. Uh, and that's mostly due to the ammunition cost. This thing uh, costs, well, the ammo costs a lot on this gun, on the BL-9. And uh, that's about it. So uh, thanks for watching. Please press that like button, leave some comments, and I'll see you in future videos.